Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And today we're stepping our toe in just a little bit into Deadpool 2 with this sweet new title template that is stupid easy to work with. So to get started, all you need to do is head to filmlearner.com slash downloads and grab the pack which contains the font and everything you need to get started. So I'm going to shut up now and let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, and let's just explain a little about what's going on in the template, as this one's a pretty simplistic one, but it does have a few moving parts. So firstly, let's check out our final comp. As you can see here, we have a 3D camera, and if I hit U, you can see we only have a few keyframes here. We have a little shake when the second letter pops up, and then it just continues to track forward to the end of the comp. Next up, we have our widescreen bars, which you can feel free to turn off or on if you like. Next up, we have an adjustment layer that has a bit of diffusion blur around the border, which is just simply a mask with a box blur on top. From there, we have not one, not two, but three different iterations of burn textures from Action VFX Freed Burn Texture Pack. All I've done here is added a change to color to make them red and just added a slight blur. I've then made them all 3D and brought them forward in Z space to separate them from the rest of the comp and add some depth. Next is our title text, which we'll jump into in a sec. And finally, we have a black solid masked into a vignette sitting on top of our background layer, which is just a picture of concrete that I've added several effects over like a channel invert, a photo filter and a slight glow. And finally, an animated camera blur to achieve the final look. Put that all together and we have our final template. So now I've explained all the crap that went into this, you can see it's actually one of the easier templates that I've made this year. So how about I show you how to customize that text. Let's open up our title comp right here. You can see that right off the bat that each letter starts independent of each other. These actually start in line with the camera animation. So if you're going to play around, try not to mess with that. Now to customize this text is as easy as highlighting the layer, grabbing the text tool up here, and of course, typing your own lettering one by one, like so, until you've got something you're happy with. Now if you need to adjust the spacing like I need to right now, go for it, you're not gonna break anything. I will mention that if you type a longer word, you may have to adjust this top scratch layer and perhaps scale it up to encompass your entire title but that's pretty easy to do. Following on from that, if you want to adjust where the scratches and grunge are, just play with the position of this layer until you're happy. It's that easy, gang. Now, each of these letters also has a corresponding concrete texture below them. Now, that's also adjustable. So, say you want to add a bit more grunge, simply select the layer and adjust the amount of brightness and you can see that it starts getting dirtier. Just find a balance that works for you. But once you're happy, head back to the final comp and let's check out a preview. Nice. And that, my friends, is our first visit to Deadpool 2 and our first step into a larger world. Mm, done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that's my take on the Deadpool 2 title card from the trailers. As you can see, really easy to work with and pretty easy to put together, honestly. Once again, guys, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who contributes on the Patreon page. Here they are on the wall of awesome right here. Now, guys, one of the benefits of actually being on the Patreon page is that they actually got this episode and this title template a couple of days early. And coming up next month are a couple of exclusive sound effects packs as well. So if you want to support us on Patreon, just hit me up down in the description. But for now, guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. We've got an absolute metric ton of Deadpool 2 effects coming up soon, so be on the lookout for those. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got all my social media crap as well as that Patreon right above my head. And until I see you again, gang, keep learning.